getting 100% yield out of here. We're taking a little bit out, but we're selling that whole fish and, and we're using the entire, almost the entire thing with a, generating a very little bit of waste. This fish is very interesting because it's almost the complete opposite. So we have to think about the pricing we get on there. So the bone structure, these are what they call round fish, so their, their bone structure is very similar, but you're gonna see how much on a bigger scale this one will be. So, and because Steven went in from the bottom trying to butterfly it, I'm trying to take the fillets off, so I'm gonna go at it a little bit different. So, so, so. A, a round fish versus a flat fish would be like a halibut or a turtle. So yes, exactly. Yeah. So a halibut is like a flat fish or a Dover sole or a flounder, if you guys are familiar with those fish. Um, they're really, really interesting. So halibut, when they're born, they, they, they come out and they swim, you know, like this, like a normal fish, right? Eyes on this side. Well, over time, they this eye on this side migrates to this side and they start swimming like this, which is really, really crazy. And then this side of the fish is really, really light in color. This side of the fish is really, really dark in color. You guys have an idea why? Exactly, looking up, you're looking at the ocean ceiling, right? The sun, looking down, you're looking at the ocean floor, so it's kind of um, but you know, there's, you know, you break those down, they're also interesting. But with this, I'm gonna go from the top. So I'm gonna make a cut. I'm gonna cut around here. Basically all of this around here is really, really tight. This is what they call the collar. So I'm gonna go right behind the pectoral. Well, this is the, one of the pectoral lens here. And then I'm just gonna go right behind here. Cut around it. follow that head all the way to there. Wow. <clears throat> so I want to follow the backbone down. So if you're looking straight on into the fish, right, you have the backbone and then you have the bones that go up and the bones that go down. So I'm going to follow the bones that go up where I know where that's at. Those bones go all the way up here. That's a good guide. So I'm going to put my knife right in here. And at the start, once I got my guide, I'm just going to follow it. all the way down. So now I've kind of established a guide here, so you guys can see. I've got a, I've got a cut started, I can see where my bones are, now I'm just gonna follow those. Okay. Kind of the backbone, so I talked about this being a thicker bone structure. If I were to keep that same angle and keep cutting, I'm cutting into usable flesh. So once I get to the backbone, I have to kind of go around it. It's round, so I have to kind of get the knife over that so I can maximize my yield, right? So that's what I'm doing down here. And I'm going to come through the other side. Okay, so you guys are starting to see that, right? So this is the easy part. So up to here, this is the easiest part. You guys all see this yeah. over here? So now I'm getting those really, really hard bones that come out of the ribs, but they don't just like go down. They like come up and out and down. And like Steven said, you wanna get that as clean as you can. So there's two ways to do it. I could just cut it and leave this part on the fish. I can try to cut through them, but in this fish, it's really, really hard. They're really, really tough to get through and I don't wanna ruin his knife. If it was mine, maybe I would. Um, so I'm gonna to try to work over them a little bit, but I may cut it off, but we'll see where I get. Here, I can go ahead and clean this up just to show you and get a portion out of it. Um, I like, I'm a big fan of a, like a pave or like a square, like a brick kind of cut, so I don't like the big long cut across the, the thing. That's how. Um, so I basically look at it kind of thinking, how, how many portions can I get out of this? I want to get the best yield, right? So I 
can get probably two down here. I can probably get three or four up here. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to take the skin off. So I'm going to use the skin as a guide. I'm going to pull tight with a towel, and it basically comes right off. I'm also very particular, like, I like the fillets to be as, like, neat and, and, and as clean as they can. So, like, this is part of, uh, this is, like, attached to coming off that, um, that top fin. So I can peel that off, and I just kind of like to, just to clean it up so it makes for <laughs> so then you have the bloodline, but I got rid of most of the bloodline out, so maybe I'll clean this off. It's your competition cuts here. The competition, right? And then let's see, so we're shooting for about a five ounce portion, right? So I'm going to just get that off. That's probably one portion, so I could get three off the top. But you can see, where looking at it, doing the math with the other side, with you know this fillet coming off and that, you can see how much it is here. It's still really, really heavy. This fish produces about a 30% yield, which means 70% is just bone and head. We're paying 5.65 a pound for the whole fish, so about a 10-pound fish. I'm going to get maybe 10 portions out of this. I'm running at about a five, a five dollar, about a 5.50 portion cost. On food. If I were to guess, I'm doing quick math, but. Um, it still, it still falls right in line with what we're doing. So even though we're getting all that waste and like it's a hard fish to break down, it makes sense for us to do it. Where the black cod, it's a little bit more work's done. Um, it's a little, for me, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a little, uh, a little, it can be more expensive to use, but if you get the yield out of it, it's still costing us $7 a portion, you know. Do we use the body and the head for stock? Not with the cod for this, we will be. Um, looking into the next menu, I think we're gonna do something in that caldo realm and we'll definitely use these. But we'll be generating more bones than we'll need. You can see how many how much bone or you know what this lean, you know, what it leaves. So uh, you know, that kind of gives you an idea. But like again, it just kinda it's full circle on, on starting with the sourcing and where we're getting these from and how they're caught and everything like that to not only that, it doesn't stop until it gets into the restaurant. Like, you know, we're still breaking these things down. It requires skill. It requires, you know, all of uh, this whole orchestration of all of these things to get it to the plate you guys are seeing in the dining room. And um, so hopefully this class kind of helps to, to give you a vision into everything we're doing. This is one or two fish out of a menu that's 75% seafood that we sell. You know, we're selling 35 of those during the week. We're selling 45 on the weekends. You know, that kind of a thing. Multiply that times every day. It's pretty crazy when you start wrapping your mind around that.